ओपन सर्क्यूट एंड शॉर्ट सर्क्यूट टेस्ट ऑन सिंगल फेस स्टेप अप और स्टेप डाउन एनी ट्रांसफार्मर यू कैन डू इट एंड डिफरेंट रेटिंग ऑल्सो यू कैन टेक अप एनी रेटिंग बट इन लैबरेटरी वी वी आर गोइंग टू यूज वन के वी और टू के वी ए टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू यूज वन के वी ए ट्रांसफार्मर सो दैट आई विल एक्सप्लेन सो लास्ट क्लास आई हैव एक्सप्लेन ओपन सर्क्यूट बट स्टिल वी विल डू इट ओपन सर्क्यूट इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो सो नाउ वी हैव रिक्ड अप फॉर द शॉर्ट सर्क्यूट शॉर्ट सर्क्यूट द सर्क्यूट डायग्राम इज एज शोन इन द फिगर शॉर्ट सर्क्यूट मीन्स यूर शॉर्ट सर्क्यूटिंग द सेकेंडरी साइड ऑफ द ट्रांसफार्मर एंड द प्राइमरी साइड ऑफ द ट्रांसफार्मर इज गिवन टू द सप्लाई थ्रू द आउटर ट्रांसफार्मर बिकॉज वी नीड टू वेरी द वोल्टेज ऑफ द ट्रांस आई मीन वेरी द वोल्टेज एंड अप्लाई टू द ट्रांसफार्मर सो द लास्ट क्लास आई एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ टू डू द वायरिंग डायग्राम फॉर दिस पर्टिक्युलर सर्क्यूट एज यू सी देर इज अ सप्लाई सो वी आर गेटिंग अ सप्लाई ऑफ टू थर्टी वोल्ट विच इज कनेक्टेड टू द इनपुट ऑफ द ऑटो ट्रांसफार्मर दिस इज द इनपुट एंड द आउटपुट साइड वी आर कनेक्टिंग टू अ मीटर वैक मीटर and the transformer whichever side you are connected the, the that side to the supply is called as primary winding so this side will be the primary winding this is the secondary so secondary we are short circuiting instead of 230 i am giving this to 120 volts and this is zero okay so 230 and zero is connected to primary if you see here i am connecting this to the meters so it is going to the meters means if you see in the circuit it is going to the meters that means it is connected to the primary side secondary short circuit so 120 and 0 i am short circuiting so i am connecting to the lower voltage because to be on the safer side i am not taking as 230 you can take it but you need to limit because if you calculate for 120 uh, volts or 230 volts the maximum current is 4.34 okay so if you take um, 230 volts um, the current is maximum is 4.34 so i am connecting only 120 volts on the secondary so that i am on the safer side where it doesn't damage the uh, transformer so let us start the experiment as shown in the uh, procedure we need to rig up the circuit ensure the auto transformer knob is at zero position which i have told you in the previous class this is at zero now once you on the switch you can on the switch of the supply and vary the auto transformer such that it reads 4.34 so i have to vary this knob so now how you got this 4.34 ampere is i have shown the calculation here so i is equal to i is equal to kva by v so the transformer rating kva is the transformer rating i am taking 1 kva so i am taking as 1000 what is the applied voltage 230 so what is the current now it is 4.34 at the primary side because primary side i have connected to 230 so if you observe this the maximum rating of the transformer is 5 ampere and this is 1 kva transformer so for 1 kva the maximum is 5 ampere it can withstand more than and this this get damaged so i am giving 4.34 okay given primary side at 230 volts so now apply the auto transformer voltage such that the ammeter reads so i vary this knob and i parallelly look into this ammeter so that it reads 4.34 if you observe here in the meter so it is maximum here it is 4.5 so this is 4.4 approximately 4.35 i have given so 4.34 or 4.35 the ammeter is reading so see this is the ammeter you can see it is in ampere and parallelly you can see the voltage what is the voltage here it is around uh, you can see it is connected to uh, 50 volts so the wire is connected to 50 holes here so this 50 volts means you have to read the upper scale so if you read the upper scale it is around between 16 and 20 so it it should be 18 18 or 18.5 volts so for 4.34 ampere of current the voltage is 18.5 or something similarly you can observe here 4.34 i am getting 20 it depends you know every time when you do the experiment one or two ampere varies so when you take this reading you need to calculate what is the uh, uh, when you take this reading you need to observe what is the watt meter reading also observe this watt meter so if this is the watt meter you can see it is connected to 500 volt 
if you observe here it is connected to 500 volt and if you read the scale it is less than between 0 to 500 it is taking around uh, 2 uh, 2 around 2 indicate indication is there next two lines so it is 500 the center is each one should be 100 100 200 300 400 500 so it is reading 100 watts so what you need to read write here is 100 into the k is the constant where you need to calculate the constant which i will teach you in the laboratory how to calculate the constant i think previously in the class open circuit test we taught you how to calculate the constant so you have to multiply it with that can constant and the reading of the wattmeter that will give you the wattmeter reading so that is all about this test and further calculation i will teach you when you come to the class okay this calculation how to uh, make this calculation i will teach you in the uh, laboratory when you practically come to the classroom but